welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So glad to have you guys here today. We're finally gonna be having this gabapent video. This is take three. Take three gabapent. Whoa, have I been doing this forever. God! I'm just gonna hop right into it. What are the things I know? What are the things we're trying to find out? And why is this drug being sold on the black market? That is the big question I'm trying to figure out. Does it increase somebody's high? What is the chance of overdose with this medication? Is Can someone be physically dependent on it? Will you experience withdrawal symptoms when you're getting off the medication? And uh, yeah, excited to finally be uploading this. I'm done, okay, so let's go. Getting a doctor to speak on camera about this medicine has been incredibly hard. You were. You would think I was asking them to tell us the secrets of like Illuminati shit, okay? <laughs> Did not want this video to just be me here flapping my gums about medication because I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not, I'm not anything. I'm not a pharmacologist, I'm not a, a physician, psychologist. I'm literally just a human being named Ali Severino who's worked in and around this field of addiction treatment for a decade, which does give me you know, I feel like some educational value. And I was also a drug addict for 10 years, so I also feel like that adds to my resume when it comes to this kind of stuff. Besides that, I don't have any letters after my name. This video is not a bashing gabapent video and it's not a praising gabapent video. I just wanna find out the pros and the cons of this medication and it has been so hard. So, Allie's done her own research. I've talked to people on the street. I've talked to people that have bought this medication off the black market, people that are prescribed it, people that have had substance use disorders, people who haven't. And I feel like bringing that information to you guys is probably gonna be the most helpful thing that I can ever do. There's three different types of gabapentin. All one is Neurotin, the other is Horizant, and the other is Grelise. The one that I feel is prescribed the most is Neurotin. For nerve pain. One that I've talked to that uses gabapentin for it says that it's amazing and I think that that's great. Neurotin is basically an anti-seizure or anti-convulsant drug. It's also used to deal with the pain of herpes or shingles, interesting, um, and nerve pain, okay? Um, interestingly enough, it can also be considered a antidepressant, which um, has the same drug in it that Lyrica does, just a very, very low dose of it. I thought that was pretty interesting. Uh, a different kind of the gabapentin, one of the three can also help with restless legs. We realized, okay, maybe that's why this drug is prescribed so much to people in recovery. Maybe, I don't know. We will find out though. <laughs> Conspiracy. This is what started this whole thing for me, right? So I'm reading the news, blah, blah, blah. There is a drug raid that happened, pretty normal. They got caught with guns, money, meth, fentanyl, fentanyl pressed pills and um, gabapentin. Now I thought that was weird because why would a drug dealer add gabapentin to their portfolio if it did nothing, right? Drug dealers don't sell drugs that do nothing. That's stupid. We all know that. I know that. I sold drugs, I got arrested for it. I have four drug trafficking charges, okay? I've bought drugs for years and never one time has my dealer said, hey Allie, you know, I got this, uh, Got this drug right here, you wanna try this one? Does nothing, like that's never happened. So we know that this drug is being sold on the black market for a reason. I'm just trying to figure out what the that reason is, okay, right, you guys with me? Good, 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 good. You guys are doing so good today. By the way, I'm so glad to be back. I can't wait to upload this video because I miss you guys so much, just PS, okay? So, oh, and what may be interested about this medication is this. My poor Bubba Smalls, my big fat cat. I'll answer him here. If you've never met Smalls, he's my best friend. He is my buddy and he is my very, very large 21 pound fat cat. He was sick the other day and it was so sad and stressful and I had to bring him to the vet. Uh, they gave him an antibiotic and they gave us uh, pain medicine for him. So when I brought him home to give my lovey his pain medication, I looked at the bottle and it said, Gabapentin, yes, my cat was prescribed gabapentin. What is this, you're giving my cat gabapentin now too? Does the whole world get prescribed this medication? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> so anyway, between the drug dealer selling the gabapentin, my cat being prescribed it, everyone else I know being prescribed it, the 175 clients that I used to work with at the Sober Living being on this medication and uh, saying that they experienced withdrawal effects just really got me interested in the whole medication period. And I know that you guys want to know about it. So, um, before you take any medication, you should 100% consult your doctor because looking at this medication, it's really interesting. A lot of people that take gabapentin 
they talk about this kind of like dopey feeling and it says drowsiness warning gabapentin can slow your thinking and motor skills and cause drowsiness and dizziness it is not known how long these effects last you should not drive or use heavy machinery while taking this drug until you know how it affects you i've talked to a lot of people who say when they take a handful of gabapentin it makes them feel drunk and i've also heard people who take it as prescribed who say that it makes them feel kind of like slow where they don't feel on their a game um so that, and then one other thing uh, I thought was really interesting. Uh, there is a major interaction between buprenorphine and gabapentin, which that's what I really wanted to ask these doctors about, was why is there such a major interaction? You can have major, moderate, or minor drug interaction classifications. That's how it works. Major interactions though means highly clinically significant. Avoid combinations. The risk of the interaction outweighs the benefit. Hey guys, Allie here reporting live from the editing couch. So I messaged a friend of mine who's a doctor down here in South Florida. He specializes in addiction treatment and uh, medication assisted treatment. So this is what he had to say. I asked him about uh, the interaction between gabapentin and buprenorphine. His answer was this. There is actually no formal drug interaction or contradictation as it were. The issue is one of cumulative sedation that can occur when combining gabapentin and full agonist opioids. Patients tend to take gabapentin to potentiate the perceived high they get from using full agonist opioids. And if enough of both are consumed, the level of impaired consciousness and sedation can certainly pose risks to one's health. There you have it. I think that's a pretty good answer. Um, so yeah. Consult your doctor before you take any medications and let's get into some of the interviews. Interviews. <laughs> I can't wait to upload this, oh my gosh. And just ask questions. It's so important to ask as many questions as possible when you're getting put on any medication. Is this going to be uh, habit forming? How will this affect uh, my daily life? Will it be hard to get off of this medication? I also had a flashback of me talking to a doctor. He said that taking gabapentin while and mixing it with opiates actually increases your chance of overdose by like 50%. And then I started to think, well, why are these people buying this drug off the black market? So are people using gabapentin as a booster to other drugs to make them feel stronger, to enhance the effect of other drugs? If you are using and you need to like stop and get help, call me. You know, my number is always linked below. You can call, either I will answer or my person that I work with will answer and we will be able to help you. But you know, it is just not worth it. Your life can get so much better. Um, so, so I don't ever want anyone to ever lose hope, but I want you guys to be educated. I feel like the information out there sucks. And so I made it my job to give you guys really good information. Honestly, I think people that have used a drug in their experience might even be better than medical professionals. So let's get into some of these interviews that I have for you guys. I think you're going to love them. Like, share, subscribe, and I love you guys so much. See you in a second. This is all gray hair just from trying to make this video. So what is your experience with gabapentin? Okay, so my experience with gabapentin, for one, I was uh, addicted to opiates for years and years and years. Um, after I had my back surgery, I knew that I couldn't go back to opiates because for me personally, I, I can't, I could never get to the point to where I could successfully use them. So I needed something to actually take the pain away. So I told the doctor after talking, you know, please, I don't want to prescribe the opiates anymore. It's causing a big problem in my life um, because the front of my legs would kill me from my back surgery because hmm. of the neuropathic pain. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't know all this at the time. This is what I learned along the way, right? Mm -hmm. So I get prescribed gabapentin. I personally think that gabapentin is a phenomenal drug, just like I believe that morphine is a phenomenal drug <laughs> or, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, it works. It works for what it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you take a bunch of it, you'll feel drunk. Mm -hmm. But there's such a high risk that you'll have a seizure because you have to take so much of it. Mm -hmm. As far as neuropathic pain goes, it works phenomenal. If you take a couple gabapentin, mm -hmm. low dose with some ibuprofen, 
I'm telling you, it's like magic, truly. It is gabapentin habit forming? Do you absolutely. Feel? It is. Absolutely. Okay, so you feel withdrawals after how long well, would you say taking it? That depends. In? Yes, you do feel withdrawal symptoms, but you feel withdrawal symptoms from caffeine. Right. So the withdrawal symptom from gabapentin, you have to think you're coming off of a mild antidepressant. Mm -hmm. So your t serotonin levels are going to drop. Okay. You are going to feel a little less. Here's the problem with somebody that is an actual drug addict. They notice everything. They notice everything and they're very, very vulnerable to feeling. So when you give them something that makes them feel okay mm -hmm. and take it away from them, right. that can be a dangerous thing, much more so than a normal person. What that would a normal person experience? I work in the med medical industry now mm -hmm. and I talk to people that are on the active drug in gabapentin is pregabalin. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of drugs that have pregabalin in them. Cymbalta, Lyrica, gabapentin, they're all in the pregabalin family. We, I work with those medications every day. Mm -hmm. I work with people that, and older people that have never had a drug problem. They're 50, 60 years old, and they've mm -hmm. been on this medication for two or three years, mm -hmm. and they call and they need help, and they, you know, well, I'm about to run out, and they, the withdrawal from that kind of medication. Do they know that is, that's about to happen? Yeah, but a lot of a lot of withdrawal is mental. Anyway, yeah. and you're you know you're told you're a lot sicker than what you are. Right. But the um, the older people, I mean, yeah, they even they say if I don't have it, my legs hurt, Aww. and you know, or yeah. I can't sleep good for a few days, and that's what happens anytime right. that you go through any type of withdrawal. Totally. It's just a level of uncomfort. It's yeah. what level is it? Right. Is it a is it a heroin withdrawal? Absolutely mm -hmm. not. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Is it a methadone withdrawal? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. No. Like, could there be that, a reason I, that I, you could think of that someone mm -hmm. would want to buy this? Because it's cheap, right? Like, what are you going to sell it for? A dollar, two dollars on the street? I, I, probably. And that's, so why would what is someone's motivation to get that? Instead of an ambient, like there has to be something right, going on. Right, but there's on. a lot of things mm -hmm. that you can do out here besides drugs to give you the same. And when I say drugs, I mean heroin, crack, coke, all, right. all, all, all. a lot of things that you can do outside of that to start to give you something. So what would be your, uh, any advice to someone considering trying or gabapentin? Gabapentin, you know. I, it's ridiculously overprescribed, mm -hmm. and I, I, you know, it, it, mm -hmm. when it's not gabapentin, it's gonna be something else. Right. You know. I'm with you. Yeah. Yes, bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> so someone has to be like solely get off of gabapentin, right? Yeah, usually they. Yeah. Yeah. Can you? I do that one. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you're taking like a high dosage of it, it's not recommended. What's well, considered like a high dose? It's a pretty high, yeah, it's a pretty high dose. Lisa. Like 800? Yeah. Is it mainly because of the antidepressant part of it? I can't off the top of my head remember why it is that they, what they do. Is mm -hmm. the, I think it's also because it can also be used like, to prevent seizures as well. So right, anticonvulsant. Like, like, yeah, so if you go like too fast off of it, it could maybe possibly like lead to one. Wow. So yeah. Interesting. I tell you. Mm -hmm. The main reason I would take gabapentin is to prevent me from busting a nut. What? Yeah. Because it impedes that. So 100%, that would be the only reason why I take it. I don't get any kind of euphoria. I don't, I, I, in the past I've gotten very, very sleepy from it. Uh huh. But I think that time I accidentally took a Seroquel instead. Mm hmm So, yeah. That's the absolute, that's the only reason I would take it. Have you ever taken it with opiates? Yeah. Um, remember that one time I was, well, I don't know if it was with opiates, but that time I tried to kick a few years ago when I sent my wife to treatment mm -hmm. and I, someone came over and gave me some. And so I kind of used that in, uh, uh, along with Xanax to cope with my subutex withdrawals. Did it work? Um, I was smoking weed, taking Xanax and gabapentin in order to relieve the effects. I was still withdrawing, mm -hmm. but you know, at least I was calmer about it. I don't know if it worked any more than the Xanax. I don't know if it had more or less of an impact than the Xanax. It was mainly just something to hopefully smooth out that rocky road. 
Because there is recently, there was like a, a drug bust, right? Mm-hmm. And the people that got arrested had like money, guns, meth, fentanyl, fentanyl press, oxy tabs, and gabapentin. And in my experience, a drug dealer is never going to be like, buy this thing that does nothing. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out like what, why? Why sell that? I have no idea. With meth. And fentanyl. It really doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I never got a euphoric effect off it. I know the worst drug addicts I've known, this one guy I used to work with, he would take it, but he would have taken anything Mm -hmm. that could remotely get him a buzz. Right. You know? Um, I think it's just what's available. I've lived in some halfway houses where gabapentin is a big thing, and these kids are, I need my Johnnies. I need, and it's, I, I never understood that. Right. You know, that um, is what they're called, right? Johnny's. I yeah, found that's, that that's the word that I hear them called. Um, Interesting. I think it's just them holding on to their last thing. Option. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I just want to take something. Anything else you want to add? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a... But why are people, how, why are people taking it to get high? I don't get it. I don't understand. People are taking it to get high? Yeah. It's like a new thing. People take anything. <laughs> you feel like, I, don't I mean, I'm sure if you take enough of it, something is going to happen. Hey guys, so this concludes our journey down the rabbit hole of gabapentin. I mean, woo! <laughs> um, please, this is not, uh, this video is not intended to help you make any medical decisions. I'm not a medical professional. Please consult your doctor before beginning or stopping or doing anything with any medication. Do not get all of your information just from the internet. I would definitely talk to a medical professional. The purpose of this video was to get some information. I mean, everyone is on this medication. It's being prescribed to cats, dogs, humans. Also being prescribed for an array of different reasons. For neuropathy, depression, shingles, herpes, pain. Um, I mean, all sorts of stuff this is being prescribed for. So obviously uh, the effects of this medication are gonna vary person to person. But we wanted to know, does this drug cause a dependence? The answer is yes. Is there withdrawal effects? Are you gonna feel some sort of uncomfort coming off of this medication? The answer is yes, especially if you're taking a high dose for a long period of time. And we also asked the nurse, is it dangerous to stop taking this medication suddenly? And the nurse said that it was. She said that some people could experience seizures. Again, I don't know, talk to your doctor about it, okay? But it was really interesting to hear that. And now I've heard so many fantastic experiences that people have had using this medication, especially when it comes to nerve pain. And I've also heard really, really negative experiences. People who got super depressed, didn't want to leave their, leave their house, gained a lot of weight, etc. Any medication is going to work with your body chemistry differently. That's just the facts of life. And I think that um, goes for almost every single medication. So definitely talk to your doctor when it comes to stuff like that. Why are people selling it on the black market? Well, I guess that's an answer that we got. People are buying it because it gives them some sort of feeling and people will basically use anything that makes them feel any way. Um, if you take a handful of it, people have reported feeling drunk or feeling very sleepy, tired. And as the doctor said to us, which I thought was kind of on point, is he basically said, Uh, Patients tend to use gabapentin to increase the potency of the perceived high they get off of opiates. So people are using this medication to increase the potency of their opiates, uh, which can be super, super, super dangerous and um, can pose serious health risks. So really think before doing anything like that because um, it can increase your chance for overdose. Anything that is going to uh, further put strain on your respiratory system, etc., can put you in a bad situation. So... If you guys ever need to talk, like I said before, my phone number is down below. Reach out. It never hurt to reach out and just talk to somebody about what you're going through. But yeah, I mean, I think that's it. I mean, people use this for all weird reasons. I mean, don't you think? It seems like it's overprescribed. Uh, my, what I got out of all of this was a lot of people are on it and it works for some and it doesn't work for others. I had no idea that there was like a little bit of an antidepressant in it. Um, what else? Oh, and the slang term for them on the streets is called Johnny's. Pretty interesting, huh? Good stuff here? Yes, Allie. (laughs) 
But um, overall, I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I tried my hardest to get people from all different walks of life to give me their perspective on this drug. And I hope that you are having a fantastic day. Also, comment down below if you have ever been on or are currently on this medication. Let us know how it's working for you. Um, we'd love to hear you guys' experience with this. And um, I hope to talk to you and see you all in my next video.